Hello. Chris Stone is How here. Hello, Alice. I'm come down great. here, okay, my darling. Okay, I'm going to come down here. How are you, sweetie? Wonderful. Alice wonderful has been finish. out on the golf course all day, ladies and gentlemen, so forgive her. <gasps> She's looking a little rosy. I know. She did 18 holes. There's only 95 oh, degrees like out fun. there. So I'm ready for a little uh, relaxation. Yes, a little cocktail. We have lots of goodies, but this is what is so fantastic. I have never seen anything well, like it. You've never seen anything like it. It is the Down Under Measuring Cup, $14.95, free shipping and handling. Five minutes, guys, because we have 1,000 of these before it completely sells out. Okay, so here's the deal. We all know that we need to measure stuff in the kitchen, right? right? And sometimes you need to measure a lot, and sometimes you need to give it a quick wipe out because you need to measure just a little. So <laughs> let's say that we want to measure a little tequila and we want to get it pretty precise, so we're going to put 50 mils in there. Of course, you can you can measure it in milliliters. You can also measure it in tablespoons. Um, you can measure it in ounces. So another 50 mils of that. So I'm putting Cointreau and tequila into a cocktail. I want to be really precise with my lime juice. So let's say I only want uh, four t four uh, tablespoons of that. So you go ahead and do that. And. The beautiful thing about it is it's got the small measurement there. Right. You give that a real quick wipe out, and then you've got the large measurement on the other side. How fabulous is this? $14.95, so innovative. Now you don't have to have all those measuring cups and all those tablespoons and everything else because one thing does it all. You just flip it over. So now you have one tool that while you're cooking, you can measure out, for example, your baking powder over here. Right. And then if you want to do your oil over here because you're making pancakes on Sunday morning, then it's all done. And it's perfect for dry ingredients and also mm -hmm. um, wet ingredients as well. So no matter what it is that you're measuring, you know, let's say you want to measure the cream and you want to make sure that you've only got um, a certain amount. Like I said, I've put all sorts of measurements on here. So there's milliliters on that side. You flip it around. There's cups over here and then there's ounces there. So if you want one and a half cups, you know that you're going to be absolutely precise um, by using your, uh, your measuring cup. And here's another great thing about this. This is a hot liquid. Right? Now, mm -hmm. normally, you, you'd be too nervous to pick it up like that. Well, you don't have to, because now you can hold it down there, and you're not actually coming into contact with where it is hot. So I've got a little chocolate here. Oh, yes. um, so let's do this. I'll put this, and this is another little um, toy that I absolutely love. I it's love called my too. stabilizer. Mm -hmm. And it means that you can stick a bowl in there and whisk, and it doesn't move around. Ask about the stabilizer. We are so limited with so many things. In this hour, you're going to see a lot of sellout. So if you want this, you're going to have to act quickly again please use express ordering already how clever is this i love it and and love the fact that you can use it for whether it's ounces even milliliters i had a something called for milliliters the other day well, i was you know, trying to do a conversion i don't know how to do that that's why i do it i try and future-proof your pans, right? I put the, you know, I make them all induction-proof in case mm -hmm. one day you use induction because I know that's what's coming next. And there's a lot of recipes. Trust me, I write recipes for all over the place. There's a lot of recipes these days that they're getting the authors to write them in milligrams, milliliters. So I, I make sure I put that on. And if you're not used to that, don't even worry about it because I've got all the measurements that you are used to. That's right. So a little bit of that chocolate ganache. Have a look at this. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> well, welcome to Saturday night, Curtis Stone style, okay? Right. We have the cocktails there. We have the dessert here. We're all good, right? And if you wanted to make this an adult's um, only beverage, then you'd pick up the Frangelico or something uh, like an almond sort of liqueur. Oh, wow. And pour that in, and that sort of turns out into an unbelievable looking sundae. It does it. <laughs> adult style Sunday. So this is going to um, make your Sunday absolutely perfect. But this is going to make your every day in the kitchen. Yes. Okay, liquid here, all right? Or your dry measurements. Either way, you can put it there. And then on the other side, tablespoons. So that you can then, again, get all of those measurements. You don't have to have, you know, all those little... And it also means, you know, we all have those cups. You have right. five cups five that are all cups. supposed to nest. And one's over here, one's there, one's lost that you can they never, never find. Nest. Well, this does absolutely everything in the one piece and let me tell you something you're never going to use it so even if you're um, only using it for one thing mm -hmm. at a time it's still absolutely brilliant because again I'm going to make a vinaigrette so I'll put my vinegar in there a little lemon juice and then I want to use um, let's say what would you normally put two and a half three cups let's sure. do 
three cups. So we've got that exactly there. Again, I'm going to show you my stabilizer. Pop the bowl in your stabilizer, and then you're going to make yourself a lovely dressing, and you know that the quantities are right, because there's nothing worse than putting too much of this or not enough of that. This way, if you're following a recipe, um, you just get the right quantity all the time. All right, with people ordering, I have 300 remaining until this oh, completely wow. sells out. It is $14.95 only for today. It's because, of course, we've had our final presentation of our Today's Special. We wanted to do something special to welcome Curtis Stone back. And you're going to see specials throughout this entire three-hour block. And so. i got to tell you something. Talking about Today's Specials, the Today's Special that's coming up tomorrow, you guys, I am oh. so excited. Oh, Lit literally less than an hour. Mm -hmm. It is the dream cookware set. So go online and check it out. I know we can't show it to you just yet because it's got to be in, in about an hour, but it is unbelievable. And some of the cars are really limited, and I want you to get the one you want. Okay, so if you're measuring dry ingredients too, I've shown you a lot okay. of dry ingredients, but, you know, sometimes let's say you, you're doing some, some little muffins like these ones here and you need to be pretty precise. So let's say we need a cup and a half. Again, you can do this holding it in your hand, some cornmeal, um, and of course you can put it down as well. Let's get a cup of that cornmeal in. I like that it, it holds up to two cups too, so you don't have to keep right. loading it and emptying it and loading it and emptying it, so it's gonna be perfect. And because of the size, you just give it a mm -hmm. shake. You don't have to right. level anything off. You're not worried about it. So, you know, when you're doing a cup, you just give it a shake to get it nice and level. And so you put this on the bottom so it's not gonna move around too. So it, it really is perfect, you know, when you set it down, it's gonna stay put. Right, quarter of a cup of sugar, and then again, into my stabilizer, you give that a quick mix, and you've got your, your dry ingredients all mixed ready to go. It happens in seconds, and that's what I love about it. This is gonna be gone in a matter of minutes, okay? So please, if you can, express ordering, and if you got a shot at getting it, and uh, don't